Hi everyone, welcome to your alchemy scope. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the macro cycle. So what story is imbuing the energy set for all of us on a collective scale? To do that, I'm pulling up the Sabian symbol for the exact degree point of our new moon in Scorpio that is occurring at 19 degrees Scorpio on November 11th, 11, 11, 2015. The Sabian symbol is delicious. It is a woman draws away two dark curtains, closing the entrance to a sacred pathway. Now, this one, you don't have to be very intuitive to get the whole message, the whole energy set behind this micro story of this symbol, because these symbols sometimes only a couple words long contain great depth of meaning this particular symbol a woman drawing away two dark curtains that have been closing the entrance to a sacred pathway is so self-evident we are opening our eyes we are seeing new realities we are seeing the depths of interdimensions this is juicy it's very good and for it to be occurring on the 11 11 portal this new moon point is quite something so it could be whether you're a woman or a man listening to this scope that indeed you feel the energies quite clearly at this point in time as we move forward into you know a more evolved self it's ever evolving the last couple months have been um, kind of unprecedented the next several years will prove to be uh, powerful and shifting we are not going to recognize the people that we were a year even six months down the line we're not going to recognize who we once were this is a very poignant time you are moving through a very poignant portal you are stepping into your power and in fact you are drawing away curtains that previously veiled realities so this is exciting so let's go ahead and move on to the I Ching and see what your specific signs micro cycle is Libra so let's look at the micro cycle or the energetic story that's underpinning this month ahead for Libra centric people. To do that, I pulled the I Ching and the I Ching hexagram that came forward for you this month is number 47 oppression. The two trigrams that make up this particular hexagram of oppression are lake above water below. So two natural elements involving water. A sense of loss or failure can break weaker people, but the strong of heart are resilient and can bend. To endure, grow, and benefit from difficult times, it is essential to tap the deepest stratum of self. There is no such thing as failure. There is only sweet and sour reality, and more is learned from the sour than from the sweet. The oppression of failure, as hard as it may be to experience, opens the blinds to the real world and reawakens the clarity of vision known only to those who have risked and who have tasted disappointment. When in the throes of hard times, it is optimal to be resolute in your inner wisdom. Avoid too much talking. Strong silence is the most skillful posture at this time. 
at this time, at the same time, excuse me, connecting openly with those who are deeply trusted can be healing. Never to fail at all is to fail in the biggest way. By avoiding risk altogether, we never move through our growth edges, expand, and evolve. Libra, welcome to your spreads for December. So let's get started. I um, went ahead and shuffled. I'm using my Siri deck, my custom deck that I use, made and used for myself. I will say, as I've said in some of the other scopes, that I've received several inquiries about whether I sell this deck, and I have not made it for mass um, sales at this point. Uh, but, but I have two other fantastic decks that are being created. So one should be out probably within about three weeks and the other hopefully by Christmas, although I'm not sure if, if I'll make that date or not. So I'll keep you posted. We're going to pull your Ascended and we're going to pull the selection again of the archetypal quality set so you can tune in intuitively and see which one is speaking to you most uh, to be matured within you over the course of this cycle. Okay. And just to note, I went ahead earlier, took a walk. I'm filming this on 11, 11, by the way. So this is our Scorpio new moon that's starting our new, uh, monthly cycle. And I took a walk this morning and there was a beautiful transitioning maple tree. And I selected some of the leaves and it was so beautiful. I wanted to put them out on our table today. So let's get started. Let's see what's coming up for uh, the majority of awakening Libra-centric scope people. That's how I'm wording it now. And the reason being is that the shuffles have been taking me longer and longer to, to, to come to fruition. And there's reasons for that. So we're going to narrow down um, who this who these scopes are going to be intended for at this point. Okay. So let's see. There's some, somebody's revisiting you. You're getting a visit from someone. It could be that some of you out there are getting a visitation. You might also be going somewhere to revisit somebody that you knew, that you've known in the past, or that you just met on a journey. Um, but... You might, you might be receiving a visitor is actually what I'm getting. It is synchronistic, Libra. This is an aligned visitation. Um, it's in, it's, it's synchronized within your current necessary journey, but you're going to be feeling a little hesitant so in the emotional sector, the beware card came up. So it might be that some of you are feeling wary about this person. Why are they showing up again? You thought maybe you were completed with them. And it might be too that you had some history that wasn't helpful, that wasn't loving, that wasn't supportive, and you're resistant now. So in a spiritual way, in a deeper way, you are feeling resistance. Now, for some of you out there, this could be you imparting yourself back, trying to reconnect with somebody that you knew. But what I'm getting is that for the majority, it's somebody coming to you. But you're resistant to the, what they bring. You're resistant to the nurturance that they claim to offer you. What I'm getting is that in the past, there was something that was toxic. There was something that was unhelpful, unloving, you know, not resonant for you. And so now you're resistant to let them in again to your life. Very interesting that you are, I mean, I think what I'm getting Libra is that a lot of you are going to be understanding that there's synchronicity in this particular meeting but that you are, I guess what I'm getting is that you're going to be feeling or thinking 
contemplating the fact that you, <laughs> in order to re-engage with this party, in order to re-engage with this person, you're going to have to access some inner courage. And really that you're getting that on some deeper level, that you're understanding the synchronicity, you're seeing the signs, but you also realize that it's your growth edge <laughs> in order to... Um, Maybe let them back in temporarily. So the growth edge is for you to assess the wariness, for you to get past this. Now, keep in mind, this is not a matter of you denying your intuitive, um, your needs and your intuitive knowing about the person. However, what I think this is saying is that there is alignment with this visit or with this person that's re-entering your life right now at this time. And there's a recognition. You, a lot of you get it. A lot of you understand. You see it. You see the greater pattern and that you're willing to let in this. You're willing to see that this is actually part of your soul's evolutionary growth right now, which is great. But the growth edge is maybe you need to access a bit of courage or the thought is, oh, great. So I need to access a bit of courage with regards to, with regards to the wariness that I'm feeling. Now, again, for some of you out there, it could be that you're receiving resistance from other and that others are wary of your revisit. Like you might be coming back to somebody and they might be feeling wary, but that is not what I'm getting for the majority of you. For the majority, you're the one feeling wary and you are resistant to the nurturance that this person claims to offer because of a history, but that you see the pattern, you see the synchronicity, you know that your growth edge is actually to step up or to mature your level of ability to confront or to face this person. Okay, very interesting. So let's take a look. We're going to glean more from the cards that come out. So we're going to do what we did last month, Libra, and I am going to pull um, three cards... I am going to pull three cards. This is, um, you know, it's interesting. So Gambler was stuck in the, the bottom of that um, box. So I'm just going to let us see that. So um, this is, of course, Carolyn Misses Archetype card deck. And I'm going to do what I did last month. And I'm going to place three cards out, have you tune in, and whichever one you zone in on is really your message. What wants to be matured within you, specifically during the course of this Scorpio new moon to Sagittarius new moon cycle. All right. So let's see what wants to come for Libra. Libra. Beautiful. So there's card one. And this is card two, Libra. And and card three. Okay, so go ahead and tune in, see which one is highlighted for you, see where you feel the most vibration, see where your eye tends to land, okay? And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and um, select your Doreen Virtue Ascended Master card for Libra during the cycle, Scorpio. 1111 new moon portal okay 
So for Libra. Meditate, Buddha. So it could be Libra, and this is literally, quite literally about being still, um, stilling the mind, turning off technology, sitting in meditation, contemplating and reflecting. It's very important to do that now. We do, um, we do need to step up. I'm still noticing people are, are really desiring like a quick fix. Like somebody tell me what to do because I don't know what to do. But unfortunately, we all need to get disciplined with ourselves about listening. We need to start listening to our inner wisdom. So this quite literally is about meditating. It is about quieting. As you know, if you follow social media at all, there's, um, there was a well-known person on YouTube who's announced that she was cutting out social media. Now, right, but right, I started a technology diet just days before I had heard this whole thing. I guess her name's Asina O'Neill. I don't really follow her at all. I only started hearing about it recently. But it was interesting because I've gotten really, I'm really sensitive to the um, electromagnetic frequencies that are in technology. I have to turn it off much more. And I'm having to disengage from social media more. So I'm, you know, I, it's just necessary. It's too, it, cl it clogs my field with too much information and I can't get clear. This, I want to tell you that, the reason why I share that and by the way, the other aspect is I have other friends that are starting to disengage completely from social media. So it's, it's in the collective sphere. I think we're all over information. So this card, what I'm getting for you, Libra, is that you could really be served a lot by clearing your field from information. Turn off the news, turn off the TV, turn off Facebook, turn it off and really just go in nature and be quiet and get still with yourself, okay? So let's see what we have. So Libra, if you pick the far, ooh, fabulous. Now, detective has not come up before. To my knowledge, this has not come up for the alchemy scopes. So this is exciting. So if you pick this far left card, you get detective. This is about maturing out of voyeurism Interesting. We were just talking about Facebook and things like that. Uh, voyeurism and falsifying information. That's interesting too. Moving into a space of great powers of observation and intuition. Now this is directly linked to Buddha here. This is about accessing your inner wisdom, your font of, of you know, Akashic record information, like the real truth information, you know, not the falsified records of Facebook, etc. So this is about great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. Gorgeous that. I love this for you, Libra. So let's see what the other cards are. So if you picked the center card, damsel, I have to tell you, damsel is coming up again this month. She's already come up once before and I've not finished all the readings. So let's see. So this is about moving out of waiting for a night to provide for you and seduction by romantic illusion into a space of maturity, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. It's becoming your own master knowing that you are a whole self, that you are not half of a whole. You're not missing anything by not having a relationship. The emphasis that we have on relationships is almost comical, I have to say. It is such a, it's like a modern myth. So this is women. I'm, I'm, I, this is for both men and women, by the way. But I really want to say for a lot of the women that are coming forward into my sphere, this is about you claiming your power and not claiming it in any other way than that is your 
right. That is your birthright and it's your foundation. You are a powerful being. Own it. You are not half of a whole. You are whole. This is about you finding your whole and grounding. Another brown card. Here we have poet. So if you pick the far right one, Libra. This is beautiful. Now, poets come up several times in 2015. It might, it's probably, I want to say it's come up for Libra before. So this is about moving out of turning a lyric gift into negative or destructive effect. Now, again, I just want to say I went on that rant about technology. I've not done that with any other sign. Here we're talking about meditation and getting to a core truth. And here we're talking about the use of words to negative or destructive effect. Okay, so just put all those pieces together there. This is about maturing into expressing soul insights in symbolic language. This is the power of language here. And you're here to bring it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Libra. I love this. So let's move on. Let's see what else we have for you this month. Leo and Libra. So I am recording this for both of you because you both received the same Dakini goddess. Um, and when I pull the Dakini goddess for this final component of the alchemy scopes, it's to show us what embodiment, who, who is it that you ideally become or embody this month in order to flow with least effort through the cycle. You both received number 24, Chi. Chi flows like water. She balances the inner fire, and her essence is the life force, the subtle air. A reminder that I am taking this from Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. As I did last month, I'm going to read the Dakini Transmission, and this month I'm going to add the affirmation for you as well. So for Leo and Libra, this is the Dakini transmission for Chi. I am Chi. I belong to all. I exist in all. If you find me and play with me, it will double my ability to freely flow, taking energy where it needs to go. Of course, Chi is life force. So you are to embody and activate your inner fire, your inner chi. Let's move on to the affirmation. So for Leo and Libra, the affirmation for chi is this. I have access to infinite supplies of chi, life force. I am in tune with the forces of nature. I can balance and channel my chi. I can heal myself. I'm going to read that again. I have access to infinite supplies of chi, life force. I am in tune with the forces of nature. I can balance and channel my chi. I can heal myself. If any of you out there are um, confronting some illness, if something has arisen in the body asking for it to be attended to and healed, um, this will serve you. But even if you are out there feeling healthy enough but lacking vitality, lacking motivation, lacking access to your inner fire, this will definitely serve you. So for Libra and Leo, I wish you both a beautiful month ahead. Uh, a reminder for those of you who don't know that I do um, wholeness education and soul alignment coaching 
I help people access the stories that reside within. I help people connect with the natural organizing principles of nature and thus their own nature. So if you are interested in understanding what macro cycles, what micro cycles, and what drives you, what are the trajectory sets and what are the inner drivers and patterns within you that are asking to be evolved or rather are there to be evolved. Um, I am available for sessions so feel free to reach out to me if you would like to explore. The link for my website is below this video. I wish you both a beautiful month ahead. Talk to you soon.